Hi, my name is Kevin Smith. I'm an Agile and Applications Engineer for Scopes. Um, today I'm going to show you how to use segmented memory on an Agile InfiniVision X 2000, 3000, 4000, pretty much the same thing on a 5, 6, or 7 as well. Um, segmented memory comes standard with the 4000X and it's for pay. It's an extra license on the 2000 or 3000. So um, what's the point of segmented memory? Well, let's understand that first. So what I've got going on on the scope here is I've got an RF burst that's occurring at various, um, at, at not various, but regular uh, repetition rates. Okay, and we're going to zoom out, take a look on them, take a look at them, and in fact, let's crank up the intensity to 100 percent. Okay, and I can see that they are occurring. Let's see, one millisecond per division, one, two, three, four, about four milliseconds apart. Okay, and if I go all the way out here, right? Let's say I go to 10 seconds per division. We can see that the sample rate is actually not high enough to really make, to really capture that many. Okay, and you know it, it's it's not very good. Even if I do a single, you know, um, where I double the sample rate, I get that. That's okay. Let's go out um, one more to one more scale and do a single. Take a look at that. It's just it's just really not great. So the point of segmented memory is to um, uh, wisely use our acquisition memory instead of capturing instead of capturing um, all this dead time. Okay, so I'm going to put it back into run mode. Let's zoom in on the signal, uh, but just by changing the time base. And notice we're going to get five giga samples per division here. Okay, uh, uh, five giga samples uh, sample rate, thousand nanoseconds. And I've got a good good solid trigger. Um, you know, I'm not triggering on noise or anything like that. Um, and so um, I want to hit the acquire button, and I want to hit, uh, let's stop this in fact, to segmented memory. Let's crank up the number of segments. There we go. We'll just use that many. Um, the 4000 series can do 1,000 segments. The 3000 series can do, um, also do a thousand segments if you have the extra memory, and the two thousand um, can do twenty-five segments with standard memory and two hundred and fifty segments with the memory upgrade. The five, six, seven thousands can do two thousand segments. So um, I'm going to enable segmented memory, and let's just hit single, and we can see this the counter uh, incrementing. Now, so check this out down here in the bottom left corner. I've got a time tag. And so this represents the first trigger event right here. Okay. If I go to, um, I can do current segment, all right, and I can use the little knob to move it around. I can skip around, okay, um, play, uh, go through them. Or if I go to the navigate button, okay, um, I can go through them one at a time uh, or, or jump to the first and last or pop through them one at a time. And we can see that I get time tags all relative to the first um, uh, to the first trigger, and I also have real world time. Um, okay. Um, <clears throat> so if I also set play mode to auto, okay, I can um, play through them actually at different speeds. I can eyeball them, and if I really wanted to, I could turn on um, persistence. And then um, play through them. And it's probably hard to see in the video, but there is uh, persistence data there. Um, I can turn on measurements. Let's just do a V peak to peak. Um, they're all. Frequency measurement is very tricky to set up on this waveform, and you actually have to tweak the settings, the threshold settings, very carefully to to make those happen. But let's just take a look at uh, V peak to peak. Okay, and so that's that's this current segment, whatever segment I'm on, number 107. Um, and if I go acquire segmented. I can hit analyze segments. All right, it's going to play through the segments as fast as it can. Uh, you, you can see the infinite persist better here. And I'm going to get measurements on all the segments. So 
the video, I probably should have chosen a few fewer segments, but that's okay. Um, and now hit measure and turn on my statistics and display on. Oh, I got to play through them again. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to reacquire them with fewer segments just for speed here. And um, let's just hit single again. Okay, now it's automatically analyzing them for the measurements. And there we go. So I got my current value, my mean value, min, max, standard deviation, and uh, number of counts. So great, I got segments. Okay, can I save these off? Yeah, I've got a USB stick shoved in there. Um, hit the save recall hard key. Hit save. And I can do um, pretty much any of the formats, uh, ASCII, XY, or CSV. Um, binary or um, <clears throat> HDF5, whatever. Um, I want to go to settings, and I, I, I have a choice of doing either the current segment or all segments, and then I can save to my USB stick, and I can also uh, save off the setup info if I like. Um, <clears throat> fairly common question with segmented memory, let's turn it off for a second, for a minute, okay, is What's the rearm time? Well, the minimum rearm time is is still one microsecond with the you know the million waveforms a second, but um, really that's still dominated by the time base. Oh, let's turn off infinite persist display. Let's just do a quick single there. So we got okay, cool. Um, in fact, let's just run it. Um, so right now, if I do, I'm at one microsecond per division, and if I have to capture, if I so I'm basically capturing. 10 divisions times one microsecond per division, I have to capture 10 microseconds, then rearm. So the minute, so if I have something that actually happens to occur within that 10 microseconds, I'm not going to see it. Um, this, let's see here. Want to see more pulses? There we go. This is also not a great setup for segmented memory. Okay. Um, yeah, if we zoom in, we can still, you know, it still looks pretty darn good. But, um, you know, but really my rearm time would be one millisecond times ten divisions is ten milliseconds, and I'm just not going to get um, uh, as much resolution, and I won't have all the um, time tags for each individual pulse. And so that's the uh, quick and dirty of using segmented memory. Thank you for your attention.